Hello everyone, just finished painting this uh, model of a Norman Stone Manor which is a model that I printed myself uh, from files purchased from a Kickstarter by Printable Scenery it's part of their Country and King Kickstarter and uh, really pleased with it, really excited about the prospect of um, creating an entire tabletop um, populated with buildings like this. I'm intending to um, use the uh, terrain mat that I purchased at, at Colours back in September and this is the first large model that I've uh, printed and painted. I have done some, uh, you may remember, some fountains just as a sort of experiment in how the colour scheme would work and yeah really pleased with it. As I say it's a Norman stone manor but it would really do um, for you know the sort of feudal period as well up to the, the sort of early medieval. Um, got a couple of figures here to give you an idea of its size. Uh, one on foot and one mounted so you can see it's a really hefty hefty sizable model um, there were a few issues with it I mean one is I mean obviously and I anticipated this it's got far too big a footprint to uh, be able to print in one go on my uh, through my own 3D printer, which is currently I'm using a, an Anycubic Photon M3 Plus, I think it's called. Um, so printable scenery uh, supply files that are pre-cut. So you, I'm sure you probably can see um, some dividing lines in there. So I had to basically I had to. Uh, printed in in sections and then glue the sections together. Um, the one problem that I didn't anticipate, um, which isn't a huge problem, is that it's three layers. I'll take the uh, take the figures away so I can wave my hands around a little bit more freely in front of it. Yeah, it's three layers. So you've got a ground floor, an upper floor, and then you've got a roof. Now. The upper floor actually uh, includes this whole facade here, and similarly on the other on the other side, and um, the roof sort of fits in between these two upright pieces here and and here and it's way too tight a fit to make it uh, feasible to be able to take it on and off during games and so on you're just going to destroy the uh, paintwork as you try and slide it in so um, although it has got very nice detailed interior for the upper floor um, I've glued the, the roof on permanently um, to avoid any any damage to the paintwork and if models are going to occupy the interior I've still got the uh, the ground floor here this will give you a little bit of an idea of what the interiors look like so you know in a in an ideal world you could have furnished that with little you know tables and chairs and carpets and all this kind of thing especially the ups upstairs area and being able to play skirmish games you know more realistically with that but um, I'm content with it as as is I find games often degenerate when you're you know moving a lot of figures around inside buildings so I prefer to sort of uh, treat buildings and you know occupy them with figures and so on certainly but uh, treat them in a little bit more of an abstract way rather than uh, trying to identify where specific model figures are within you know within a building 
in you know in a particular location. Um, yeah, I painted it according to the uh, um, painting technique on Printable Sceneries website, uh, which is I found very useful. I, I have put up a video. I'll try and put a link to it at the end of this. Um, uh, you know, demonstrating the technique on an old Hudson and Allen keep. Um, but yeah, I, I, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the detail of the the stonework. I, I I'm really really pleased with this. Um, I won't go in too much into I won't well I won't go into it at all the uh, the paints I used and so on it's all there on the um, either on the you know my video previous video or um, go to printable scenery's website and you can see how good these uh, these models look um, you know when they when they're grouped together assembled together in a sort of uh, town or a settlement or something like that on the table so that they, they look absolutely spectacular so there we go uh, a Normanstone Manor from Printable Scenery printed on my own at 3D printer at home and painted by myself thanks for watching